We like old adverts. Hello and welcome to another episode of We Like Old Adverts. Today we are joined by the one and only Tat Maestro, Ashens. Um, Ashens, welcome back to the show. You've, you've been on before and uh, we all had a lovely old time. So we thought we'd get you back again. How are you? Well, thank you very much for inviting me back. <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, so you brought, um, you brought another kind of weird kind of 80s slash early 90s toy advert, which are like, they are a goldmine, aren't they? They are repeatedly oh. incredibly strange. Absolutely. This is one of the most extreme. This is, I think this is from 1979. Oh, wow. Or possibly very early 1980, when they still thought that having rude posh men shrieking in your face was a really good way to sell you family items. Yeah. Isn't it's that the year Thatcher got in? <laughs> uh, it's all making sense now yeah 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 it, um it really <laughs> yeah i mean that's the way to explain it it's, it's, it's quite threatening so um let's have a look at it i am a maniac my four games challenge your eyes your ears your mind i'll even tell you how you scored this is no toy you're playing with the smarter you are the harder i'll make it if you dare to play with maniac after four players from ideal. There we Spoon go. to the point. I just don't know what that point was. <laughs> yeah, it's like a flat garlic, isn't it? <laughs> a flat garlic that hates you. <laughs> I am horrible. Spend money to have me in your house. Yeah, I will <laughs> define you. It doesn't compel me to play the game at all because I don't know what the game is. I don't want to. I don't, I don't worry. Like anyone you, involved knows what's gone. going on. What's that? It gives you your score, so don't worry about that. <laughs> so, yeah, it literally gonna... just sits there, shrieks at you, and tells you, you are only 20 out of 100. You are scum. <laughs> scum. <laughs> What's the criteria? Scum. <laughs> <laughs> because I... before we had that Hero Quest one, which also had that kind of, can you rise to the challenge of Hero Quest? But I kind of gave that, you, you got the very rudiments of how the game worked. You had like the cards and the moving pieces. I'm not getting, I don't have a clue. It's like, wait, I keep score for you. <laughs> yeah. what, a score? what is a score? Man. I know that it challenges your eyes, your ears, and your mind. Your ears, it's I like the ears. So did the advert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Like the actual sound design of it is quite deliberately unpleasant. It's like, yeah. sort of, it's sort of, it's like bombs going off here and there and like the shrieks and like the, yeah. the, the kind of tinny like treble of it is all over the shop. Yeah. Like, and it's silent for the first three seconds. I am maniac. You think the sound's messed up, and then it goes, I am a maniac! <laughs> All right, Jesus. Just and it fires time. that amazing logo up on the screen. <laughs> it's a fantastic logo. It's so it's big the only thing we have. Logo, logo. <laughs> it took me Very ages cool. to realize I was being taunted by the game itself. <gasps> yeah. It's consentient. Yeah, and this maniac. isn't a toy you're playing with. Um, well, <laughs> do you want to check that, again? Yeah, sure I think you might have booked advertising space at the wrong sort of time of day. Cause... <laughs> I'm trying to watch He Man. I know I've mentioned before that poetry in adverts really makes my blood boil. Yeah, yeah. like those nationwide ones at the minute. It, it's oh. hard to watch. It's like, oh God, he's gonna he's gonna speak in poems, isn't he? Oh, God. oh and he's done it. He's done it. But this one, he's crying out for it. He leaves himself an open net and then doesn't bother scoring. He goes, the smarter you are, the harder I'll make it. If you dare to play, and then he should say, you'll want to break it. <laughs> but he doesn't. He just leaves it. He's like, if you dare to play, maniac. Mm, yeah. Yeah. By ideal. <laughs> so, <laughs> maniac is omnipotent maniac cannot be broken uh -huh. <laughs> I think, yeah that's the thing isn't it really i don't think it understands poetry or any form of the arts at all no. you've been retrained for cyber no. <laughs> <laughs> so Stu, do you have any insight into what it is <laughs> I don't have a bloody clue. Because exactly as Joe says, it's an appalling advert because it doesn't show you what the game is. But it does tell you that it costs £34.95, which is farcically expensive for the time. Yeah, That's I mean, like it says £150 in today's money. Wow. <laughs> I like it says £34.95 or less, which is a strange marketing rhetoric. Usually it's like from £22. But they're like saying, well, we've got to be honest with you. There's this 
Selfridges in Monaco that sells it for 80 quid. So it's my responsibility to just be honest with you all. Maybe that's the first test. Mania, you? <laughs> you're already playing maniac if you yeah. want to or not <laughs> i like that all their faces are in silhouette because it's like you've gone round to play a board game at andy mcnab's house <laughs> <laughs> so you can't see how badly it's burned them for failing <laughs> when you look them in the eyes they've just got their score in, embedded in their <laughs> eyes in red colored numbers 24 16 <laughs> Yeah, and the better you do, the harder Maniac makes it, which is, I, I kind of like that, <laughs> but at the same time, it just sounds, just sounds like a bit of a grind, doesn't it? You will eventually oh, lose this game. I think we've worked out it's a sex thing, isn't it? That's why it's, it's, <laughs> it's shrieking at you. Ah, horrible, horrible, cost of fortune. What do you do? Ah, I will denigrate you and you will get hard. Yeah, <laughs> it's sort of, maybe a kind of BDSM, kind of middle class, kind of uh, home counties couple kind of equivalent of pampas grass yeah you know, we, get, we get maniac out it's like not just that you, you're down for it but you're down for it to be weird and <laughs> aggressive safe word is maniac <laughs> <laughs> you get a score at the end <laughs> yeah. I think no, don't get off with her she's only a six <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever that means Oh God! I'm kind of a brave new world kind of element to that. Um, I've got another advert, which is it's a little bit frightening. I know you're familiar with it, Stuart, um, but uh, it's, it's a Levi's advert, and you have a certain expectation of a Levi's advert. And this, um, well, this is before that expectation of a Levi's advert came uh, came to be a popular thing. So let's have a look at it because it's quite odd. There was a stranger who came into our town. He was tall and had eyes that could look right to the bottom of you. We might have welcomed him, except for one thing, his pants. They weren't dull like ours, and this troubled us. Stranger, how is it your pants have colors and flared legs? He just smiled and said, I'm wearing Levi's. Dull has gone out of style. Then in his strange way, he transported us to a world of Levi's slacks and jeans, tweeds, cords, flares with Dacron polyester. It was magic. Bush jeans, blue jeans, bells, beautiful Levi's magic, coveralls, knickers, and mitts. And we cried for more. No, I must go to other towns, he said, and he left. Left us with our new Levi's. Yes, we'll miss that stranger. But you know, life will never be dull in our town again. By the way, how are things in your town? So weird. Under a quid a pop, then. Yeah. I don't think you'd be giving them out like that now. Like, uh, you can have them for hundred quid. I think that advert might be from the nineteen seventies. <laughs> Call it a hunch. <laughs> yeah. What, what gave you this idea? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it is one of those cliche things people say. Like, isn't it? Like, oh, they must have been on bloody drugs when they came up with that. But sometimes you go, yeah, maybe actually they, yeah, they might have been. Um, it's, it reminds me of, do you know the unfinished Lord of the Rings animation? Well, you have put your foot in it this time. Who are you? Yeah, oh, yeah, I've seen Ooh, that. Yes. Got that so same sort of yeah. look in it where the people in it look like they've been outlined from actual film. But they, the movement, mm. I don't know how they would have done that in the 70s. But obviously call it rotoscoping. Rotoscoping. Right, yeah. rotoscoping. Right, rotoscoping. That's, that's the one. So, yeah, it's, it's a ro that's expensive, right? Rotoscoped advert. Like... <laughs> But jeans, I suppose they are expensive jeans, but like this, it's so, there's so much going on and it's all terrifying. <laughs> like the Gregorian chart in the background. <laughs> kind of scare me into wearing bell bottoms. Sounds like the wicked Why? Man, it? It's got the best line of any advert I've come across so far. He was tall and had eyes that could look right to the bottom of you. Yeah. Yeah. That's poetry and advertising, Connell Deeney. Yeah. It just means it's looking Fantastic. at your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the world ever needed this man with no name, 2020 is the time. Like, yeah. How's your town? We, we are in need of you, Levi's man. Mm. I'm yeah, not yeah. sure it is such a dull town, you know, because it looks like a lot of out-of-work actors pretending to be haunted. <laughs> been all the kind of over, right. overwrought, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, those trousers must be pretty special if you prepare to forego eyes that can look to the bottom of you. That, that's like Rasputin, isn't it? Eyes that can look to the bottom of you. 
but look at those trousers, you know. Yeah. I don't remember the trouser verse in Ra Ra Rasputin, you know. <laughs> trouser verse is actually what you see. <laughs> if you notice, his trousers move, but the background doesn't. So they are literally some sort of, tra- he is a trans-dimensional trouser wizard. He was just walking from town to town, everyone cowering in fear, and he's like, you serve me. <laughs> when I walked this morning, I honestly didn't think I'd hear the line trans. Was it cyber wizard of the trans? <laughs> trans dimensional trouser wizard? I think yeah. I said. <laughs> Strangely enough, I hadn't planned it. <laughs> I'd love that to be my nickname. Yeah. When you, un- when you unpick the concept of the advert like that, <laughs> I mean, it really is mad, isn't it? Is that <laughs> what he's doing? He's going from town to town, these dull hellscape towns, transforming people through fashion. Yeah, and my yeah. favourite bit is, the, is, the, uh, is at the end of the advert when he says, By the way. And then there's a huge pause <laughs> before he says, How are things in your town? It really feels to me like the advert's just going to end on, by the way. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> My answer to that, how's your town? I'd, I'd like to say there's a lad at the bottom of my street who's been wearing the same super dry bottoms for the last six weeks and Karen got a new coat. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think the stranger could improve? <laughs> well, yeah, I've been to his town. I was yeah. born there and he 100% could definitely improve, improve it. it. I like that they show off about using Dacron polyester so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> 70s brag that. That's like someone in the 30s saying, uh, we built this house with blue asbestos. Come and see. <laughs> <laughs> I love his sound effect finger that points polyester onto people. <laughs> <laughs> people <laughs> talk about time travel or flight <laughs> or invisibility. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Brilliant. Sound effects amazing for it as well. The way he does that cheeky little one for the kid on the bike at the end. Yeah. It's a little tiny bit of comic relief. I just I don't understand the thought thought processes behind like trying to frighten your target market. Yeah. <laughs> and if you were to show this script to sort of a modern ad agency, they go, right, you've got a fundamental problem here in that it's not implying that you should want these things or that you should pay for these things. It's implying <laughs> you should sit in your town until Freakazoid turns up and gives you them for free. Yeah. Which you know that that's not the message they want to get across. Yeah. There's a bit in the middle of the advert when it goes full horror, where they're doing a sort of weird kind of montage of his face, where it sort of goes in and out of focus. Mm, yeah. It's just, it's just frightening for frightening sake, which I sort of respect. Again, again, this sort of goes back to the time when adverts could be, have a little bit more creative freedom, and actually there's a bit of artistry to this advert, you know? Mm. Yeah. For no it real does reason. look like some, one of my mates made at college. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen a lot of stuff like that. I went to art college. I've seen it all. Yeah. I've seen all it all. <laughs> Trouser wizards everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we want his legs you know, to move, but the pattern just stays still. You hang out with him afterwards. Out comes Maniac. Ooh, a bit <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him in the Avengers. His power is just he can make polyester Dacron appear anywhere. Yeah. Which doesn't sound great, but like Thanos is, you know, doing his thing and he just makes polyester appear in his lungs. That's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, yeah, I, I'm going to go mad if we talk about that for much longer. So um, <laughs> our next advert is, a, is, is another 70s one from the Health Education Council. Uh, and it's about reminding us that we should move. And we're just 30 laps to go, eh? Hey? Come along, darling, walk is. Come on, yes, come along, really Roger. Bit, it may come uh, as a nasty uh, shock. But people need exercising just as much as dogs. If you just went for a few good walks, that'd be a start. The chances are you'll actually like it. On you go. Here, Roger, fetch. And once you really get going, your heart, your lungs, your muscles all get stronger. You'll shake off depression. You'll feel a new man. Hang on. Or a new woman. Yeah. Where you go. You'll put more effort into everything you do and get a lot more out of it. Roger! Come back at once! A few minutes exercise every day could add so much to your life. Look after yourself. That's what happens when your maniac runs out of batteries. (laughs) (laughs) Why didn't they take the dog with them? (laughs) <laughs> Why did you leave? <laughs> leave the dog? <laughs> it's a perfect opportunity to walk in with the dog. 
Yeah. He's going on two trips. That's too much exercise. <laughs> I mean, it's it's all fun and games getting your exercise like that, but then they don't mention that he's putting a thing around his neck and she's yanking on it. <laughs> yeah. A quick way to die right there. <laughs> yeah. I've seen fellas about that build being pulled around Soho with a collar on like that, but it wasn't as reluctant as him at first. Yeah. Very charming, isn't it? <laughs> got to say, Roger acts his dog scenes so well, like so so well, like you really buy him as a dog. Like fair play, mate. It's a party that's <laughs> born to play. <laughs> oh, his spotlight article must be so yeah. <laughs> Once played a dog, don't you know? Yeah. Uh, once again. Um, uh, we've seen this with the, the infamous British pork advert. Uh, when 70s indoor scenes were shot, they, it's like they didn't think to light them. <laughs> they're, they're so dark. Well, they're I know what that's, yeah. it's filmed on film outside, but filmed on video inside. So it looks really, really starkly different. Mm. Yeah. So it does look like garbage on the inside. I mean, I can understand it for this, I suppose, say, oh, it's all dark inside, but look how light and lovely it is outside, because that fits the arc of the ad. But we know that's coincidental because of things like the pork ad. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. lights are expensive. That's the end of that. <laughs> it's also, it's, the, the, the product as such is like a couple of minutes exercise, a couple of minutes, is that what they were <laughs> saying in the 70s? Like, I don't know that that's going to... That explains a lot, doesn't it? It explains the physiques of a lot of our dads. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do any exercise for them for two minutes a day, run outside and do a load of intensive exercise. That's just giving people heart attacks. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it would think... the population down. <laughs> I think I know where this is filmed, exactly where it's filmed. I think it's uh, Norwood Park in South London. So I used to live around the corner from it. And I used to walk my dog there. And what she'd like to do of a morning was roll around in fresh fox feces. So she'd be like, I don't know, some like cursed twister lolly when she'd finished. Thing is, having a dog with a spiral of fox muck on it was less embarrassing than what they were doing in the 70s. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, yeah there's, there's some pervert stuff going on with that. You expect yeah. a little bit of chauvinism to pop up. And it I was about to say that. Dumb. Yeah. Okay, now he was yeah. But it's, like, it's, it's right on the line where you go, oh, yeah. I think you can have that, the 70s. It's a difficult watch, isn't it? That, uh, yeah, yeah. dog collared woman. It, where Roger's trying to mount that other dog with <laughs> yeah. woman. That's what's going on there. Don't laugh. That's what he's doing. <laughs> it's just literally he's trying it's happening. With yeah, her. It's he's going to have a go. And his owner, wife, has to tell him, stop doing that, because that's well weird. Because you're not- She's complicit in this though. She encouraged he it. Well. He knows what he's doing. That, that look on his face, he knows he's been naughty. My favorite bit yeah. in this whole ad. <laughs> it really made me laugh. So he's acting like a dog. But then at the top of the hill, he starts doing some star jumps. Yeah. <laughs> like dogs are dogs famously do. bad yeah, at star yeah. jumps. They're sped rubbish at star jumps. I'd love to see a dog doing sped up push-ups. The only exercise that was permissible in the 1970s was BDSM swinging in public. <laughs> <laughs> and many. I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> until the stranger came into town, and then you could just do whatever you like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's why does she throw the collar away at the end? Because he's clearly got the behaviour, what well, brain of a dog. She's yeah. kind of going, "Oh, we won't be needing this anymore." He's just tried to mount a woman in the park, <laughs> and also he's only done a couple of minutes exercise. It's not. Yeah. He's got to do that every day and for significantly longer. Come yeah. on. Is it trying to imply, and don't get me wrong, it fails if it is trying <laughs> to imply that he's, um, he, now he, oh, he enjoys the exercise, now he's done it, and he'll go out and do it every day on his own. But it's, rather than show that, we showed some weird swing. <laughs> yeah, maybe, she, maybe she's going a bit, maybe she's on heat or something. I don't know. I'm not a vet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They're not dogs, so. Yes. Yeah. Um, Right, on that, I think we should probably wrap up. So, um, Ashton, thank you very much for joining us again. It's huge. Cheers, if people want to see more of what it is that you do, where, whereabouts can they do that? 
Just Google Ashens, one word, like Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> nice and simple. Right, so uh, we've it's been class. with the adverts. Uh, if you want to like and subscribe, that would make us very, very happy. We are three very sad men, and things like that do just generally lift our day. So, uh, yeah, um, you can uh, subscribe on, on, on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and if you've got an advert you'd like to see us discuss, um, just drop us a line at we like advert, we like old adverts at gmail.com. You can also send a little video of yourself uh, making a recommendation if you like, and um, we'll, we'll put it on if you like the advert. So, um, thanks, everybody, and we'll see you later.